Welcome back to Godhood. It's been a while since we've played this game, but they released a new update a little while back called New Found Shores. Uh, the game has changed uh, quite a bit. I was uh, very confused when I tested it. I'm not going to go through all of the patch notes because uh, they are extensive, but let's take a look at the new features. Uh, number one of them is islands. Go to differently themed islands to convert the unenlightened. Each island has different challenges and rewards and collect the sunstones to become the one truth. Then they have added a new commandment, generosity. You're not going to play with that, does uh, I like generosity, but uh, it's time for uh, more humor. And finally, they've also added a new tenet, which... Um, is um, human uh, sacrifice. Uh, moving right along. So there are other major changes. Uh, they've changed how the turn works and stuff like that, but uh, we'll just uh, go into the game and see how that actually works. Let's uh, go into a new game and uh, make ourselves a god. Can't choose ambitious yet. Not that I would want to either, but that's basically Iron Man. So we'll be a serene god and we'll play on the classic difficulty level. I have no idea what the changes here are. I don't want to play on impossible. And here we are in the god's uh, creation and religion creation. And you are... I don't want to be yellow. Um... Let's be purple, and then we can change the uh, body to blue, and the wings can be uh... That's very bright. A more nice. Well, that probably works. They've added more custom options here as well. Go with the, uh, the tails, like tentacles. Arms. That looks fairly interesting. Um, what is he carrying? A sack of some kind. Uh, of course, we will go skeleton arms. We'll go with the um, tentacle arms. Where are you? There you are. Hat? No, I don't think we want that hat. Um. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that just looks silly. Um. Maybe we'll go with... Maybe we'll go with that hat, actually. Eyes. Well, that looks fairly stupid. Um, must have eyes. I think we'll go with that one. The head. We want a uh, fitting... <coughs> yeah. No. No, no, no. Fish head. Um, can I use the... Can I? That looks proper. And the body. I mean, the, the regular uh, tentacle body is a bit boring, I think. This one. More like a snake than a tentacle. Let's find it. No, we're not going to be a fish. Fish with tentacles, nor are we going to be a skeleton. It looks like good. Let's go with that. Yeah, we'll go with that one. I like that one. Maybe that green is a bit too bright. 
that probably looks a bit better. I would like some complementary colors there, though. Oh, that doesn't look so bad. How should we address you? We want to be a god. We want to be light style. And uh, this will be the uh, feisty kraken. Our religion will not be called the abbey. Our religion will be called the, uh, the cult of tentacles. And of course, the worshippers will be uh, tentaclets. Skip the intro. No, actually, no. Let's not skip the intro. So, the tentaclets believe that the feisty kraken is the god that brings us the truth. That truth carries the name the cult of tentacles. Let it be known. For as long as there have been people to believe, there have been gods to vie for their attention. The feisty kraken is one such god, destined to claim their place in humanity's hearts and minds. They would start with a single soul, destined to become the first prophet of the cult of tentacles. I am the feisty kraken. From nothing, the feisty kraken appeared before Huani. Huani renounced their faith in the old god, Quetzalcoatl, and placed it in the feisty kraken instead. First, the feisty kraken taught Huani about what is right. In my name, you will spread... Dust. Um, generosity is the new one. Love your neighbor as yourself and help them in times of hardship. Greed will become a vice and may not be selected as a commandment later. I'm thinking that we will actually pick this one as our uh, second commandment. But we will go with lust. Indulge in worldly pleasures, cries of passion, love and gratification will fill your temple sight. Chastity, obviously, will become a vice. Who wants chastity anyways? And may not be selected as a commandment later. I'm very sure that I want lust to be a virtue indeed. The elders who worship the ancestors thought this idea to be dangerous. This uh, wanton copulation will only lead to terrible disease. I could not see how they were wrong in opposing the feisty kraken. A sacrament was called to determine who is right. Prepare for the sacrament. This will not go well, I think. Poor Huani. Gain some experience, though. The elders were resolute in their judgment. Huani and a few followers were banished from the old city. Before leaving, Huani prophesied that one day the feisty kraken would bring their unrestrained love to the old city. One day, we will return. Wani continued to travel for days with the exiled. The people were growing tired and hopeless. Finally, on a fertile and lush terrace, the feisty kraken spoke again. This shall be the feisty kraken's holy site. A new religion is founded. One of the things that the uh, patch notes uh, promised was a new and better tutorial, but um, when I came here I was like, what am I supposed to do now? Because nothing made sense, only the fact that this thing is lit up and these, but I didn't really think that I would want to do any of these. But before we do that, we of course need to uh, make some uh, changes here. I think both Catherine and Peps have been um, quite, um, what shall we say, uh, faithful in the past. So uh, this will be uh, Ms. Matrix. 
Let's see here if we can uh, make a proper that's a good head shape. I don't want it to look angry. Big eyes might be a good idea. Seductive eyes. Um, no. Let's go with the uh, big eyes. That looks okay. Eyebrows. Don't want big bushy eyebrows. I want. Oh, that's that's perfect. Mouth. Perhaps we can make her smile. Or have huge lips with lots of lipstick. <laughs> no, I don't think so. That looks quite cute. Hairstyle. Short should be the keyword here, I think. Whoa. Now that is an impressive hairstyle. I wonder how much hair product goes into that. And in the Stone Age at that. Let's go with that. Uh, we don't want any facial hair. Ayo. 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 There we go. Let's have some... Uh... Oh. <clears throat> no, we don't want that kind of makeup. But the feathers are always a good uh, little detail. Now, okay, so the hair color should be, uh, so, the skill color actually looks quite, uh, whoa, no, oh no, there we go. And, uh, we want the colors to be purple, of course, because that is the, the colors of the, uh, the feisty kraken. And we're done. The Miss Matrix is a lust priest. Of course. Her style is Grace. Um, I'm not sure what that actually uh, does, but uh, doesn't say anywhere either. Very good stats here. 9 might, 8 health, 12 cunning and charisma, 9 devotion and 9 knowledge. Uh, Miss Matrix is uh, very fond of seducing and uh, flirting with uh, our uh, potential um, uh, candidates for a conversion. I like the text here. Come to the Cult of Tentacles. We've got uh, me. And then th there's Grace. Convert the heathens with the grace of the feisty kraken. And of course, Righteous Flirt with the text. Hey, handsome. Um, Miss Matrix has the Heart Melter as a passive ability. Extra 20% of inflicting, inflicting Infatuated debuff with all abilities. Which gives uh, malice to physical armor and morale armor and, armor and also adds clouded thought in mind. And uh, she also has an extra 10 physical crit chance, but I think these are um, morale attacks, so that's not really um, something that benefits us. Her totem is the Promiscuous, which is a common totem. Gives her three max miracles. Um, cunning is the major talent. Charisma is good, while health is poor. I'm not sure how that is poor, but okay. And uh, as a prophet, she gets plus two to every, st every stat, and uh, she has a direct connection with a feisty kraken. Deep bond. Feels linked to you no matter what. She's eager to serve the Cult of Tentacles. She feels fated for being the founder of the Cult of Tentacles. And uh, she's glad that lust is a virtue. I didn't expect anything less. We don't have any ability points, but um, the only thing we can do now is either do a ritual or we can dream. Dreams make... Uh, they give us a temporary bonus to the next, uh, like we could have plus 25% morale damage, falling in love, which would not be bad at all. Uh, but we'd also get plus 10 faith. But let's do a ritual. Um, 
We can do this, the uh, converting ritual. We don't need any ritual offerings for that, and it gives us more devotion. We're in the Age of Darkness. And as you probably noticed, we just randomly got two new uh, followers. And here's the tutorial. Spreading the Cult of Tentacles. The goal of Godhood is to spread your religion. Gee, I would never have guessed. To the corners of the world and gather as many tentaclets as you can. To convert others, you'll send out your disciples to do missions. Every mission has one or more sacraments. These are the rituals in which the people of Godhood are converted. The feisty kraken commands, how do I go in a mission? You're automatically asked by the disciples to pick a destined mission. At the start, you won't have much choice, but as you progress, your options increase. Once you picked a mission, you will have time to prepare for the coming challenges on your holy site. The feisty kraken commands, prepare for missions in your holy city. In between missions, your disciples can develop in the holy city. You start with two god actions to inspire your disciples to do your bidding. Important actions are dream, to temporarily prepare for the next mission, ritual, perform a ritual for permanent power gain, and of course the miracles, where we can level up a disciple by performing a miracle. There are more types of actions that you can unlock by issuing new buildings in the holy city. The feisty kraken commands, perform god actions to prepare and develop my disciples. Once you've used all your god actions, it's time for the destined mission. Click on the challenge in the bottom right to continue to the mission. Between missions, two years pass and your disciples slowly get older. The feisty kraken commands, after performing god actions, go to the destined mission. Understood. New dawn. You inspired Miss Matrix to do your bidding on this new holy ground. A few tentaclets see this and are in awe. The Feisty Kraken commands, use this growing power to spread my word. Two disciples in awe of this prayer pledged themselves to the Cult of Tentacles. They were young Ehekathel and Mary. We will change that. They too want to spread the word of the Cult of Tentacles. I assume that should be word, not world. The Feisty Kraken commands, I will inspire more disciples to pray for me and gain power. Choose the destined mission. Well, that button is uh, big enough. So this has changed quite a bit. Now we can just choose one mission. Um, there are no lines that I've seen yet. So we will choose the southern jungle, as is our destiny. And uh, for now, we cannot do anything here. This confused me to no avail. I thought that I would pick people and put them here now, but no, that'll come later. Um, this city or village or whatever it is, southern jungle, is filled, of, filled with pagans. So we have three godless people here. We can show the advanced disciple info. They all have an, uh, a chance to become nervous. And then we have Condemn and Attack, respectively, for them. Let's set this as our destined mission. And this is the Turn Tracker. So, you can only go back here and you can go back and forth, but um, this needs to finish up. Let's uh, customize these two um, Acolytes Sorcery. Interesting. Missing macro. F violent. Okay. The disciple scolded the heretic for his ways were wrong. Yes. Um, totem the gust. Charisma good. Charisma. Okay. So this should be masculine. And um, I think this will be Wally. I've uh, kind of promised that. We need a blocky... Uh, and Wally probably should be very... Uh, <clears throat> sun bleached. With red hair, of course. 
You'll just have to live with the um, the color of the uh, clothes here, though, Wally. Can I change the clothes? I wonder. No, probably not, because I, I expect they will change when we... Um, level up and actually become a disciple of some sort. This mouth is very fitting for Wally. Could give Wally the, uh, the very impressive hairstyle. We should have to have something very short here. That looks a bit too short though. That looks good. <coughs> I like that a tooth and the mouth is on top of the beard. There's some stubble of some sort. Ah. I don't want you to look tired. You can have some freckles. And some facial paint. Probably should go with a more... No. Ayo. Ayo. Mm, yeah, that looks good. Done. Then we have Mary. Follows the totem of the leaf, which gives good cunning, but poor devotion. Um, high health and might. Not sure how good a disciple this is going to be, so this disciple probably will be dismissed at some point. But uh, we'll we'll uh, make a, a proper disciple out of uh, this guy too. Masculine. Um, I like those. Uh, Wise guy. Oh, that is very impressive eyebrows. Oh, default mouth there. That hair looks perfect. Let's make it uh, a bit darker. And let's give him some facial hair. Very impressive. Uh, then let's see here this can be um hmm therion dracos no that's uh, let's save that for later on no let's use therion dracos there we go done Now our disciples are ready. Um, this gives devotion, which isn't really that necessary. So I think we'll let Miss Matrix dream a little dream about falling in love. You have one dream point. Completed. Now we get to... Uh, this point. I'm not going to read the uh, tutorial for sacraments because uh, that's something that I've done before. So, Miss Matrix is a lust priest with power 10. One of the things that they have changed which now actually works is that if we place Miss Matrix here, you can see these arrows. These two are directly opposed to one another. So, when you're looking at this wheel here, you don't want to place a lust priest uh, opposed to someone who is um, having darkness unless it's a very very powerful lust priest. For now we'll just put them in this order because it doesn't really matter anyways which order they are in. Um, this is to show the cards that they have. Start mission! A costs a crystal skull. This matrix tells them where her eyes are. You want this? 
That wasn't too bad. They have been enticed. Wally is now ready to choose a class. This is also something that they have changed. Um, you need to unlock the classes now. Um, one of the things that I remember is that it is not a bad idea to to spread out the um, the um, so that you have several of the um, what are they called the the elements so weaver the weaver spreads your will through dreams and visions they focus on manipulating the enemy mind which of course would be very fitting for wally the feisty kraken will bless or haunt you through the truth of dreams the passive abilities punish the feeble which means that the Weaver will always cast Doom, which is their basic dark morale attack on enemies who do a clouded ability, like being nervous. Then they have Mind Stare, which deals less dark morale damage and dazes an opponent for the whole Sacrament, which is an overpower ability. They can Condemn, which is a Reason ability, uh, deals dark morale damage. And this one is affected by Sorcery, Nightmare, deals dark morale damage and it scales with Knowledge. And then you have the Songsmith. The Songsmith channels your power through music. Their songs often affect multiple targets, and they're also good in keeping morale high and inspiring other disciples to greatness. Their main stats are Charisma and Cunning, just as the Lust Priest. Rejoice! Our god is truly alive in this melody. Their passive is Melodies, which gives a plus 40% evade chance from Cunning. Reduces hit chance penalty by 10% for target all abilities, and the target all abilities normally have minus 30% hit chance penalty. Their overpower ability is Loud Hymn, which deals morale damage to all opponents and heals your disciples, which means that uh, the Songsmiths are very good to have. Their reason ability is Bonus of No Beauty of Life, deals life morale damage to all opponents. And their grace ability is performance, which deals morale damage and raises your team's cunning. This one scales with cunning. And then finally we have the chieftain, which is a charisma might. I don't think Wally should be a chieftain. Follow my lead for the feisty kraken for glory. Um, the chieftain is a powerful leader. They use rally abilities to motivate and buff your disciples, but can also strike with their totem. My, what a large totem you have there, Wooly. They can ra attack after a rally ability to set the example. Their passive ability is a leader. They have a chance to inspire an ally to deal physical damage after taking a turn. Grace ability is Mighty Rally. Deals ancestral morale damage and braces your team's might and charisma, which is good. Their overpower ability is Totem Slam. Deals ancestral physical damage based on might and charisma. And their fear ability is Intimidate, which deals ancestral morale damage based on Charisma and Might. Now, I do know that Wally do not possess the um, most um, beautiful uh, song voice around there. But I think I'd rather have a Songsmith than another, another Lust Priest, even though the Lust Priest is extremely good it's one of the best classes in the game uh, as far as i know but so is the songsmith so you know you're going to be uh, wait can you be affected with sorcery yeah the alluring body is affected by sorcery hmm no you'll be a songsmith wally Now we can choose a Skull Reward. Um, I have no idea what the difference are here. So we'll just choose Major because we get materials. I want lots of materials. We are not very big in the Pantheon, but uh, we're gonna get there. Our new destined mission will be the Heartlands. They have a Pagan Weaver. Mm, that's not good. But we uh, we do get uh, materials and uh, stuff like that. 
dark. Well, Wally will be able to uh, counter this uh, godless weaver. Her abilities are doom and nightmare. Meh. The first miracle. In their sacrament victory, some disciples gained a miracle charge. These disciples are ready to perform a powerful miracle. However, miracles cannot occur just anywhere. The disciples want to construct new holy places, important to the faith, where they can enact miracles. The feisty kraken commands, I will erect an important place where miracles are performed. Bounce, bounce. Manage city. In the managed city menu, you can spend materials to upgrade your holy city. You can build to create new options for your god actions. You can upgrade buildings to improve the result. You can unlock classes. And you can buy traditions, which are powerful upgrades for your religion. The feisty kraken commands a place to spend my materials. Some upgrades are very important. You will be notified that such a monumental upgrade is available with a red marker. Often, you might want to buy them as soon as possible, but maybe your strategy has other priorities. The feisty kraken commands, look for the red marker. Now I think we want to have a miracle that can give us charisma. It is an important stat for both the uh, lust priest and the song weaver, so let's build a storytelling circle. Oh, build that there. And Wally, how about you perform a miracle? A miracle myth. We can build more. And level up the miracle myth to give might and devotion in addition. In classes, we can unlock these new... Um, these aren't new, but we can unlock these classes. The Smite Sword. No. Rage Prophet, no. Harbinger. Not really. The Beast Walkers are quite good. But they are also nature, so we already have the Lust Priest that can do that. I think we'll just stick with these for now. In traditions, we can, and here you have new, we can uh, give ourselves one more god action. And we can educate our younglings, the young tentaclets. Um, can also unlock more dreams. I think we'll go with the divine power. Gives us one more god action. So now we have three god actions. Um, Miss Matrix, you can gain charisma. I think that's a good idea. Coming of age. You can now call upon the younglings to take up their calling and become disciples. They can increase your roster size or replace an old and dying disciple. With uh, summon initiates, you can select one of the few young acolytes to become a full-fledged disciple. Every acolyte has a different talent. This will inform how they grow. Wise gods plan forward, thinking of what kind of classes they want, and pick the right disciple for the job. The feisty kraken commands, time to summon initiates. So we have Karmana, who is strong-bodied, following the totem of the dog. And we have Akola, which is strong-minded, following the finch. It's not a bad one. Good charisma, knowledge and devotion. Poor cunning, though. I think we might take Karmana. Major might is good. Okay, okay, okay. Well, it would be nice to have a chieftain. I don't know what Therion Dracus is going to be good for. Actually, Therion Dracus will be good for uh, being that, so... 
maybe we'll take a cola because a cola can be a good weaver. So let's, uh, yoohoo, initiate a cola. And let's also customize a cola. Not sure why a cola looks like a girl, given that it's a masculine appearance. Sly eyes here. Eyebrows is nice. Since a cola is going to be a weaver, it makes sense that a cola looks a bit more uh, angry than the rest of them. Well, we don't want a cola to look that evil. And face paint is good. A dark voice for a cola, and a cola will be hmm. This can be quad rotas. There we go. And Therion Dracus, can I? I think we'll go with um, what Rotus, you can do a ritual of charisma. Now we're ready for the uh, sacrament. Uh, Wally is busy. He's uh, currently at work doing a miracle myth. So let's put uh, there and Dracus there and Quadrotus there. This is going to be challenging. Both sides are compelling. Anything might happen. But I, I think we're going to win. Miss Matrix will uh, probably uh, do the job. Come closer. A righteous flirt. Hey, don't do us. Unguided condemns you. Very good, Miss Matrix. Defiance is good. No, you should not defy Therian. Nor should you doom him. Repent. We have no plans to repent. Ha! Feel the uh, enticing tentacles of the uh, feisty crack and embrace you. The Therian Drakus can now unlock a class. And Therian Drakus will become a chief. So confirm that. We can get 50 materials right away, or we can get plus 10 materials per mission. I think we'll go with 50 materials, though. Our next mission will be the Frontland of the Ancestors. Here we have a Divine One, which is going to fall for Miss Matrix's charms easily as destination. Wally told an amazing story of the feisty Kraken's exploit to some tentacles. The story was so well told that it came alive in the very tentacles above the holy site. A spellbound crowd looked up as the feisty Kraken did many great things in times long past and waved his tentacles happily in the sky. Wally, enraptured in telling the tale, kept their eyes closed. The Feisty Kraken commands, stories are the wellspring of faith. Wally has gained the performance ability, and plus one to charisma, and plus, no, plus two to charisma, and plus one to cunning. Blessed be Wally. 
now we have uh, a religion development going on here. Choosing a commandment is just the start of developing your religion. By winning sacraments and finding development spark, you can advance your religion. Through religious developments, you can further define what values and traditions are important in the Cult of Tentacles. Each of them will have a unique effect. New commandments and tenets grant you access to more religious development trees. The Feisty Kraken commands, we will develop the Cult of Tentacles with religious developments. So we can go down either side here, but these choices are mutually exclusive. We get to pick one, so we can either get to become a god of pleasure or we can become a god of passion. We have two development spark, yes. So let's check the end talent first and foremost. And grow into god of pleasure. Yes, yes! Oh, the feisty kraken. Yes! This gives us the um, Temple of Pleasure. Scribe provides us with a powerful new miracle which raises charisma and cunning. That is a good thing. Um, evolving into the God of Passion. The Cult of Tentacles teaches it is better to burn out than fade away. This one raises charisma and devotion. Temple of Lust. I think that the Temple of Pleasure sounds more interesting. So at that side we will also get nighttime pleasures. Let me please you with my uh, relic. Get more crystal skulls. Um, we can craft disciple relic, great book of bodily bliss. And uh, life and nature abilities gain plus 20% damage. We have Seek Relaxation. Every Friday, it is Holy Massage Day. New initiates will now have a 25% chance to gain the Wellbeing buff, which gives plus 25% damage to life abilities, and also plus 50 addition chance for initiates from Hedonists. We can uh, revel in ecstasy. As the Cult of Tentacles prescribes, let us celebrate our adulthood. Revel in Ecstasy will occur after each coming of age, and grants all disciples a big uh, faith buff until the next sacrament. And we have uh, Release Primal Desires. Let's surrender to the primal urges the Feisty Kraken gave us. New initiates will now have a 25% chance to gain the Primal Desires buff, which gives them plus 25% damage from nature abilities. We also get 50% addition chance for initiates from Hedonists. Then we have the uh, the brothel, of course. This place is as holy as the temple of the Cult of Tentacles, honey. Unbox the Bordello, which allows our disciples to learn one of the unique Lust passives. And we have the Playful Embrace. I tease thee in the name of the Feisty Kraken. This gain gives us the uh, Playful Embrace upgrade, which has uh, plus 5% crit chance for the following upgrades. No, following Miracles, Storytelling Circle, Herder's Hut and Hunter's Lodge. So we will go with Pursue Endless Pleasure. Excluding Recovery Intervals. Hedonist's Disciples will be recruitable when using Recruit New Disciples. These Disciples have totems with talent for cunning. Lust itself. This is going to be hot. That's correct. Let's pick that as a development. And yes, we are sure that we want to start developing Pursue Endless Pleasure for our religion. Now, what do we want to do? Therion Dracos probably wants to perform a miracle, but I'm not sure that the miracle that we can offer him is the best. Uh, let's take a look at Therion. Well, charisma isn't bad, but I think... What does all of these use? Might.
Well, we have new tradition. Educate new, educate the younglings. We have 152 materials. Let's build the farmlands. My, they're big. Build them up there. And Therry and Dracos, you can go do a farm miracle. Uh, Wally, you can dream a dream about falling in love. Or maybe you can do a ritual. Doesn't require require any ritual offerings, so and then finally let's have Miss Matrix dream a dream about falling in love then. And then we have the sacrament. Miss Matrix, you will be there because uh, nature is uh, the antithesis to divine, for some reason. Wally, you'll be up there, and Quadrotus, you will be down there. The sacramentals are possible, but uh, I think I think we're going to be fine. This guy has smite and enforce as his abilities. Too worried about that. Miss Matrix will uh, charm him to bits with her. Uh, Tentacular charms. Mm. Ooh. Well done, Holly. Defiance is good. Not when they do it, though. Broken. And they have been enticed. Now Quadrotus is ready to unlock a class. And uh, Quadrotus will, of course, as planned, become a weaver. Here we can get ritual offerings. It's difficult to pick between these. I think we'll go with this one. Now we have three missions. We can either go right for the elders, which um, I don't think that's a good idea. I. We also have repeatable mission here. Pagan Zealots. That gives us development spark. That's a good thing. And uh, Pagan Rage Prophets. Which gives us an uncommon relic. Let's go for the uh, Zealots in the poor village. Lecture. Castigate. Blessing and Lecture. This is going to be difficult. It's a unique mission, so that's what that means. Okay. Set as our destined mission. Therion Dracus blessed the lands in the feisty Kraken's name. When the harvest came, the yields were ripe and delicious. A true godsend. The feisty Kraken commands, Believe, and I will provide. He has now gained the mighty rally ability. Blessed be Therion Dracos. But on that note, I think that this is a very good time to end the episode. So I uh, hope that you enjoyed the uh, episode so far. And uh, I hope that you will also continue to uh, be uh, entertained by this particular series. So I will see you all in the next episode.